Hi there, you've heard of Kathy Freeman, right? Kathy Freeman is one of Australia's most iconic and successful athletes. With an outstanding career including Olympic medals, Kathy has always been an avid supporter of equal rights for Indigenous people throughout her career. Kathy Freeman founded the organisation in 2007. So, what is it all about? The Kathy Freeman Foundation is a non-for-profit organisation that works with Indigenous children in rural and remote areas across Australia. It focuses on creating equal access to and opportunities for education of Indigenous children. The Foundation's mission is to create a positive school experience and give every Indigenous child the chance to reach their full potential, as well as Creating an Australia in which everyone has equal education and opportunities regardless of your background or how isolated your community may be. The values of the Foundation are experience, learning, loyalty, integrity and initiative. The Foundation works with four remote areas across Australia. Palm Island in Queensland. Warami Yunga in Queensland. Gullawinku in Arnhem Land. Northern Territory. Warabinda in Queensland. Palm Island was the first community to create a partnership with the Foundation. The program aims to create motivation for attending school as well as learning and building confidence. The whole community works together to achieve this, including the 1,600 children involved, their parents and teachers. So, what are these programs, you ask? Starting Block, Horizons, Activities, Early Learning and Scholarships. So, why is this relevant? In 2011, only 54% of 20 to 24 year old Indigenous adults attain Year 12 or its equivalent. 25% of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders 15 years of age and over reported Year 9 as their highest year of school completed. Paramedics, we will have patients from different backgrounds and age groups. Indigenous school aged children are a special group we will most likely treat, especially in interstate areas. We should aspire to recognise their challenges and differences in our care for these patients. We need to recognise they are members of small communities, therefore it is imperative that we be culturally sensitive and gain trust. We also need to understand alternative treatments they may use due to their cultural heritage. So, what does this mean? Through these programs, children of these remote communities can also have a better understanding of what we do as paramedics and in the ambulance services across Australia. Created using Powtoon.